The past five years have encouraged a view of companies as little more than an agglomeration of features to be analysed via expectations about the oil price, the dollar, the global economic cycle, Chinese demand and other variables. Now, share prices have been swung about by central banks to such an extent that it's easy to conclude that investing is really all about macroeconomics with a modicum of sentiment on top. That is, see companies as just a mix of exposures to different factors. Now, For some sectors, the factors are screeningly obvious, with oil producers leading the way. While production costs matter, the selling price of oil and gas is by far the most important issue for the shares. You can see that on here with the uh, world energy sector in red uh, share prices and the oil price here in blue. Now, the two don't move absolutely perfectly together, but the direction is clearly determined by what the oil price is doing. Now, taking this view of the world makes it easier to plough money into factor funds. They select companies according to things like value, momentum, quality or growth, among other things, rather than relying on old-fashioned stock picking. Although, of course, the failure of most active managers to beat indices has contributed in large part to investors' desire to switch to these passive factor funds. Now, Volkswagen woes perhaps ought to remind investors that a company is more than just a list of factors to select from. The company is no stranger to corporate governance failures. It did, after all, provide the most salacious example of the German manufacturer's culture of bribery in the early 2000s, when it offered Viagra and hookers to keep unions, union chiefs on side. Now, the latest scandal is less sensational, but could be far more expensive. VW admitted today that 11 million cars were affected by the claims that it rigged emissions tests and it set aside 6.5 billion euros and fines could be far, far bigger. Now, investors seem to have reacted in the usual way, adding a diesel engine factor to their models in case Volkswagen's competitors are accused of doing the same thing. Although I should say that back in the 2000s, the spreading corruption scandals engulfed only German companies, not the rest of Europe. Now, VW shares off almost a fifth today after losing 17% yesterday. The rest of the sectors plunged too. Car makers and diesel specialists made up all but one of the 10 biggest share price fallers in Europe. That's a generalised backlash going on against the dirty fuel. Now, the effect of one of the factors can be seen in the performance of shares this year. This red line here shows how European car makers soared at the start of the year, far outperforming the wider market, that's here in blue, and it outperformed thanks to the twin benefits of easy money from the ECB. This easy money raised hopes for the economy, and so for car sales, and at the same time weakened the euro, helping exports, particularly of the car makers. Now, as hopes of a sustained boost to growth faded and the euro stopped falling against the dollar, so the shares of car makers struggled. You can see that they slowly began to give back the gains that they had made. Now, VW shares, which are in green here, of course have suffered much more in the past couple of days and contributed to bringing the sector down very, very sharply, back almost to where it started the year. In fact, for VW, the shares have now given up, almost given up, the five years of outperformance. That is, they're back approaching where the wider market is. Uh, this is dated back, this chart here, rebased to five years ago. Now, there's nothing wrong with breaking corporate performance down into exposures to different factors. That's an essential part of understanding what makes a company tick. But BW like the banking sector or BP before it, shows up one factor which investors have tended to ignore, the increasingly heavy costs of regulatory failure. Corporate governance, of course, can fail in lots of ways, from ill-advised takeovers or financing wasteful projects right through to outright corruption. Investors need to pay proper attention. In fact, in some ways, it's really rather like traditional stock picking. <laughs>